Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to create flowcharts from text. And to do that I will be using a program named Flowchart Fun. As you can see we are currently on its github page uh, which you can access the project. And I am showing you this because uh, actually you can use this and embed it into your existing projects and use it from there. However, in this video I will be using its uh, website which can be accessed from the flowchart.fun. So let's head over to there and start exploring it. Okay, so when we head over to its page, this is the view that we got. As you can see, on the left hand side we got a text editor filled with an example text. And on the right hand side we got a flowchart which is created by that text. And when I hover over items such as the nodes or edges, the corresponding line on our text editor lights up. Which means that this element was created by using this line. So. Uh, just look at the text for a second and don't uh, care about reading, just look at the structure. As you can see, it is indentation based and this shows us that each indentation has a meaning. And that meaning uh, can be creating sub-elements or creating edges between different elements. So just get rid of this example and create our own. So first things first, let's create our first note, just like that. And as you can see, we got a massive first note. So let's add a second one, just like that. And if I want to connect first note to a second note, I can do it in a few uh, ways. First one is this. We head over to the uh, line beginning of the second note and hit space. Now we create an indentation and that connects our first note to our second note. But there's an actually another way to do it. And by using our second way, we can actually add label to our edges. And let's say uh, connection one. Then we hit colon and space. Now, as you can see, our connection, our edge is named as a with the label connection one. But if I want to add a third node, I can do that by just like that. And now, as you can see, it is separated from our first two nodes and I can connect them by creating an indentation which connects our third node to our first node because uh, uh, these actually our third node and our second node uh, are on the same level so if I want to connect my third node to our second node I can just hit space one more time and now we got a uh, basically a linked list anyway so now create a few more nodes let's say our fourth node and the fifth node just like so now uh, let's make things a bit more interesting so if I want to connect our let's say fifth node to our second node how can I do that well again there are actually a few ways to do it and each way uh, is using a term named ID and that ID is actually our line number so what I mean by that? What I mean by that is this. Take a look at our second node for example. It's on the second line, so its ID is 2. And now let's look at our fourth node. It's on the line 4, so its ID is 4. So if I want to connect my fifth node to my second node, uh, I can do this. So uh, I can just type uh, fifth node colon, sorry, just go to in the bottom bar and let's say uh, fifth to second. Then I again create like this. As you can see, we created a node, but don't worry about that. Then we open up and close up parentheses. And inside that, we give our uh, ID to connect to node two. For example, in our case, it's the second node. Now our fifth node is connected to our second node. And also, since we are on the right hand side, uh, we can actually do this. We can drag our nodes and create the structure as we like. But if you remember that, I've also mentioned there's a second way to do it. And uh, that is creating our custom IDs. So let's say a second connection will be our ID. So if I head over to its line, I can do this and type in second connection just like that and I can basically create the same structure 
by typing the second connection inside our parentheses like so. Now, as you can see, we got the exact same structure. So this is how we create our charts. I also want to mention and one more thing and that is exporting our flowchart. For example, I want to export that chart and use it in somewhere else. Well, how can I do that? Actually, I can download the vector uh, format of this uh, chart. And I can do that by hitting the download SVG button on the right bottom corner. So I hit that and as you can see, it downloaded an SVG file. And when I open that, there we go. We got it on our vector format so I can embed it wherever I want. So in the end, I hope you've enjoyed this video and find it helpful. If so, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you next time. Take care.